like to uh, announce today that we've committed uh, seven and a half million dollars uh, jobs creation fund for Coas County that will be decided by uh, and by local uh, community leaders, uh, political leaders, uh, business leaders, uh, people who know this area best of all, know what its needs are best of all, and can decide how best to spend this money. These are the folks who are on the ground, best positioned to know how and where any economic development investments should be made. We need money across this county. You need money here in Lancaster, you need money in Grofton, you need money in Colebrook. Berlin still needs to get back on their feet. Uh, all of the communities in the North Country can certainly participate in this fund. We want to see people stay here and work here and to thrive. And manufacturing is a thing of the past here. Construction jobs is what I do. We need these construction jobs and we need to train our people and our young people so that they were able to stay here and work. The Northern Pass project we know will produce 1,200 jobs uh, over its construction period of about three years. So we know that benefit is there. Uh, people have told us that they would like to go beyond that and find ways to create long-term jobs up here uh, as well. We also know the Northern Pass project will produce uh, greatly enhanced revenue to all of the communities which will host this line and the facilities with it, so we know that there's great economic benefit from, from taxes that will be paid, but we wanted to go beyond those uh, benefits and do something with the communities up here. Over the years, a lot of the money meant to help businesses sustain or create jobs have gotten lost in writing studies and other efforts that don't actually create local jobs. That's why I like the Northern Pass Project's Job Creation Fund and why I think it's different. It will help make sure that the jobs created are both a good fit for our community and are held by the people who live here. I consider this a great day for Coas County. I am certainly grateful to Northern Pass for setting up this fund in this, what I consider, an economically forgotten place.